Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Ansible on Windows using WSL. In this scenario, I mean, the prerequisites of this video is that you should have VS Code installed and you should, I mean, you are able to connect it to WSL. So as you can see, I have Ubuntu installed um, and this is the prompt, right? And if I type PWD, I see that that's the, I mean, that's the directory that I'm in right now. So let me actually just disconnect this, uh, this remote connection or connection to WSL and show you how I did it in VS Code. I do have a separate video on how to, uh, in detail on how to uh, connect uh, VS Code to WSL. And that's in my uh, channel. But uh, let me go ahead and connect VS Code to WSL. So to do that, you have, just have to click this icon here, open a remote window, and you click connect to WSL. And that will see here the prompt that will start uh, connecting VS Code to WSL. So in order to be able to you know, use VS Code to like edit files that you have in your uh, Linux, or in this case, Ubuntu, you just have to browse to that uh, directory. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So open folder, and I do have a folder uh, or directory called Ansible. So I select that directory and click OK. And as you can see, it's connecting and now we see the prompt. So th this is the directory that I am in right now. So let me go to the steps. So step one is to update package lists. So it says here, open your Ubuntu terminal and run, you know, these commands. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So enter that command and it's going to ask for my password. I'll type in my password and it's working yeah so looks like it's done and next step is to upgrade the packages or existing packages okay it's done upgrade is done and step two is install required packages so let me just go ahead and type this command here or just copy and paste the next is to add the Ansible PPA or personal package archive. So we we'll just copy and paste this command as well. Okay, done. And step four is to install Ansible itself. So that's the command. Okay, done. Yeah, that's how you install Ansible. And to verify that Ansible is successfully installed or installed correctly, you can run this command here. Ansible dash dash should be dash dash version, or let me just type it, dash dash version. Okay, so let me just make this A. So yeah, so we see that Ansible uh, is installed and we also see the uh, Python version here. So yeah, that's how you can successfully install Ansible on Ubuntu in this case, or Windows using WSL. So uh, hopefully you found this video useful. If you have, uh, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.